be loud, man. Let me get you. Uh, let me get a story with you real quick. The remote. All right, ready? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Come on, man. Still be young. Dollar sign young. Rap games, Bruce Lee. We yeah. here, man. What we about to do, Mac bro? TV. Tap in. Make sure y'all tune in. We live right now. About to go crazy. Make sure y'all tap in right now. Clap. All right. Man, I ain't gonna lie, they've been asking for you a hard body, bro. I see all them crip signs right there. They've been asking for you a lot, like a lot. Especially after that, that thing I posted with the Mac Eats. They've been killing me about oh, that. Oh yeah, like, man. People have been in my DM about that shit too. Like, me about when that, is it gonna bro? come out again with the woo? They but... killing we gotta do we gotta do something else because yeah, they, they be on my else. body about that, bro. For real. <laughs> uh, let me just tag you. Everybody, make sure y'all share this. Make sure y'all like this video. Let's get people in here. You know what I'm saying? I know it'll take a little minute for everybody to get in, but uh, everybody pull up. Boom. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, you, you can share that shit on your story? Yo, there we go. I got my. I didn't finish all my questions, so I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let this shit. I'm gonna let it. Uh, just let it flow. I'm gonna just let it flow after a while. But you know what I'm saying? Stupid young, what's up, bro? It's kind of Mac, man. Yeah. First of all, before we even talk about anything, um, you released a new album, right? Right, right, right. What's the name of the album, my guy? Uh, mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. Yep. Mm, this is how many albums deep are you in there? Um, I'm a couple, but I, I would say I'm not at my debut album yet. You feel me? Right. Kind of like how the baby was when he came out. He was just dropping a bunch of projects and calling his album. But when he had that one, when he made it and came out, that was his debut. So the debut still still in the process. Still in the process. For real, I would think that your debut was like the first one after the uh um. The Mando? the Mando, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, that that was the one that that still got the most numbers and shit. But uh, I don't know. I, I feel like what I'm album not, were you? I'm not right, so how many albums are you in now? Is it two? Not like five? Five albums yeah, in? Yeah, five. And you still don't think that you made it? Still, yeah, still, still, I can't, I can't, I can't get that title yet. You can't get that title yet. Uh, uh, well, so you got five albums in. They all albums, or they not mixtapes and shit. You I mean, you could call them albums. I, I, what I call them personally is projects. Projects. Yeah, projects and shit. Right. Yeah. So what, what, what's, what's going on with this album? Like, uh, how, how, how would you rank this album out of all your albums? The last one, I, um, I don't know. Every time I drop a project, it feel like it get better and better. Like the production, the wordplay, shit like that. I feel like it just, it just showing like the progress progression you feel me and then i feel like when the when the debut come out um it's gonna it's gonna showcase when i'm in my prime you feel like you're better now than the last one yeah yeah for sure you really feel like that hell yeah why do you feel like that i just feel like the sound like i found you know i found my sound i'm more comfortable i'm more uh it's just i'm i'm, I'm i feel comfortable right right yeah i feel like uh i ain't gonna lie i was in the studio with you the other day not too like oh, a week ago mm -hmm. and i definitely feel like you you all get, you got better. For sure, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Compared to yeah. when, when I was in the studio in New York. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For yeah. sure. No, you definitely got better since then, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? But, but when you came out with the Mando joint, like, I was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like now you had, like, a movement at that time. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? right. But I feel like now you're more mature as a, as a rapper. For and sure. Also as a person, like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like when you elevate as a person or you see just different shit in life, your shit just changed, you know what I'm saying? Right. Of course, you still gonna have that in you, but you know, you got it's time to talk about shit you're experiencing. Right. You know? Right. 
Um, all right, let's uh, let's get let's 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 get let's let's uh, you know, I wanted to get your music out first. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And yeah. to, we'll go back to the music for sure, for sure. Let's let's dive deep a little bit. You feel me? Um, wh- where are you originally from? Cambodia town, Long Beach, California, on right. the east side. You yeah. was born and raised over there. Born and raised. Uh, where's your family from? They from Cambodia. Cambodia and my grandpa, he from Vietnam. Oh, so you're Vietnamese and Cambodian. And yep. Cambodian. Yep, yep. Okay. So um you your first generation here though, right? First generation, yep. Yeah, your first generation. You got uh how I, what, what's the history of Cambodia? Like that you know, like from what you know. Um, from what I know, and it was like, you know, a poor country, um, poverty. And uh, until the leader, Pol Pot, came and um, he wanted everyone to, to supposedly have kind of like com- communism, you know what I'm saying? Right. Kind of like want everyone to look, be the same, feel the same, eat the same, work under the government type shit. And uh, he started, uh, you know, killing our people and shit like that. That, that was the Khmer Rouge War. They were killing a lot. He started of, killing his own. The, killing a lot of our people. I don't know if he was influenced by Hitler, but he did sim- the similar shit. Except he 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 didn't get taken out like Hitler. He died of fucking uh, just old age, natural causes, supposedly. Wow. And he he got to just live his life, which I'm mad. I'm. It's kind of like a bittersweet feeling because he killed our people, which makes us like me, people like me, in my opinion, hate him. You feel me? Like fuck, fuck that. Fuck, fuck, like fuck him. He killed millions of our people. He did, he did some wrong. But at the same time, if he never did that, I wouldn't have been here. Mm. I wouldn't have been in the U.S. I'd probably be running around the jungle or something like that. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? So it's kind of like a bittersweet, sweet feeling. But then when that Khmer Rouge war uh, happened, my a lot of Cambodians migrated. We got, we got say. I think we got help by you know Vietnam and shit like that. You, right. the U.S. Uh, as well. Then we got saved, and a lot of our family migrated from over there to to the to the U.S. And a large population went to Long Beach. Most of them went to Long Beach, and another population went to the east, the East Coast. Do you know, like, uh, did your family ever tell you about like what they had to go through to like during that time? Yeah, my grandma. And also, what they had to go through to get here? Yeah, yeah, my grandma. She said she remember like running, and trying to get away from the government, running, like walking, running over dead bodies and wow. shit like that. Yeah. So it's like they always say they always say the same shit. We came over here to give you guys a better life, and you guys still killing each other over here. Wow! And it's like you know that's why that's why I, when I when I, when I had certain homies passed away, and then I had certain homies that weren't Cambodian passed away. I compared them too when I got older, and I was like, damn, this shit is different. Because when a Cambodian like homie from the hood or somebody from Cambodian like in my family passed away. It was kind of like the grandmas were strong already. Mm. Like they've been through it. Right. They yeah. already been through the trauma, you feel me? And they just got not I wouldn't say get over, it, but they just it, it, they were just strong. But then when I lost homies or like other people from like different races, it was like their family was fucked up for a while type shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? Cuz cuz your people were like uh Calloused from it, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, like for they, sure. They, they, they already seen so much. Blood they seen shit. it, yeah. They, 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 they was a new to it for sure. How about your father? Like, uh, uh, he came over here when he was real young. I think like he 11, came from 10. Cambodia. Yeah, he, he came from over there. Him and my mom. So they came with your your, your mom. And yeah, your yeah. Grandmother, all of them came together. Yeah, yeah. Well, my mom came with her parents, and my dad came with his parents, okay, and then right, they right. met. They met in Long Beach. They so. met here. Yeah, they met here. Yeah. Right. And what what was your uh? What was your father's experience coming over here? Did he tell you? He t- he tell me, but he don't tell me too much. You know what I'm saying? He just he just like a uh, resilient. Like you feel me? Like I I know he went through some shit, seeing shit as a kid. But he came over here and said, "What the reason why they formed Asian gangs in Long Beach was to to protect our kind because we didn't come over here and get bullied after just seeing all them bodies and shit like that and just come over here and get pucked. You feel me? So they built they formed that gang to fucking protect themselves and shit. I want to get to that, but what what would you what would you say is the difference between Cambodians and other Asians? I don't. I would say it's 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 hella different. Like Southeast Asian Cambodian Cambodians Laos Thais is like I don't know. It's like like we're so used to we're so used to the to the struggle. Now I'm not saying the other Asians is not used to the struggle, but it's like we're on the bottom of the of the of the podium toe, you know. Mm. Like the, we're the minorities, we're not that big, you know. Obviously, it's Vietnam and China and Korea and shit like that. 
But then at the same time, I feel like the reason why we a lot of us is in, was in poverty coming to the U.S. was because the war shit. We came here with nothing. Mm. But they, like other people had a head start. Like you know, my kids, my wife, they feel, they're they're Filipino, but they've been, and I compare our lifestyle. They've been they they already had a head start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah. And they already went through the trauma way back when the uh, Spain took over, and and we we're we're still we're still fresh kind of because mm-hmm. I'm first generation still. Yeah, that's, I mean... It, it, I mean, it makes sense, right? It, it does make sense. And me as a Chinese person, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, my experience as an Asian is completely different than your experience as an right. Asian over here. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Even though we might have a little similarities, but I think for the most part, like, you know, we have a, a, a you know, there, there's, there is a big difference. You right, know? right, for sure. Um, um, you, you, in your interviews, right? Prior right, right. interviews and stuff. You mentioned your father, like you know what I'm saying, Big Shadow, right? Right, Big right. Shadow. What was your, uh, <laughs> what was your, what was your? It's crazy because I was locked up with the Shadow too. Uh, I was locked up, but he was Vietnamese. Right, is right. Your, your father is half Vietnamese? No, he's Cambodian. He's Cambodian. Yeah, it's my mom. Okay, all right, right. Yeah, I was locked up with his Shadow too. Um, and he was like, he 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 basically ran Rikers Island when in his time there. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like he was the man. Right, right. He put on for the Asians, like you know what okay. I'm saying. So it was crazy that that was back in the east. That was back at Rikers yeah, yeah. Island, yeah, right, Rikers right. Island, and up top to anybody that was locked up during those times, like in the '90s and right, stuff. Right. Like they know, they know, they know about Shadow. You know, right, right. Uh, what what what's your relationship with 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 your father? And like, how, you know, like like could you give us a little? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my my relationship has always been good with my dad. Always, we probably had a couple of fights and arguments and disagreements, but. Like he always showed showed like showed me what like what it was to have that fatherly love, even though he wasn't there most of the time. You know what I'm saying? He was gone most like a lot of a lot of time, to- like half of my fucking life. He was locked up, or he, he was, was locked up. He was thugging with the homies when he was out. He would tell me he would come get me. He'd never come get me. Mm-hmm. You know shit like that. But when I was with him, it was extra. It was extra special. You feel me? Like he gave me whatever I wanted. Just. You know, just loved me as a kid, right. you, as his only kid. But um, and then uh, yeah, I always had a good relationship with my, with my dad. Always. Did you ever feel like? Did you? I mean, because he was in jail and because like he was outside doing what he did. Did you ever feel like? You know, I mean, you did say he was he was special, but did you ever feel like, like neglected in any way by him? Or yeah. Like that? Yeah, yeah. At times when I used to be like, damn, where is he at? He said he gonna come get me or. When when there would be birthdays, he ain't there. Like most did that of my fucking a lot? birthdays, yeah, yeah, most most of it. How did that affect you? I thought it was normal. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I did because everyone like growing up in the Cambodian community, a lot of people didn't have their dads, mm. and a lot and a lot of people didn't have both their parents or not their mom or some shit. So I thought it was normal. I didn't growing up when my my parents split when I was so young that I couldn't understand mm. that that I thought it was normal. And until I grew older, it, it, it took a it took a while. It took like until like at least seventeen, eighteen, until I started hanging out with different races and different cities. And I'm like, damn, this. So that's that's what a home is like. You feel me? Like a real home that ain't broken. But I thought it was normal, so I didn't really hate my dad for it. But I was just always wondering like where he was at type shit. But you know, when even when he did time, he would send me like birthday cards and shit from from jail, like Pokemon. Did you birthday know he cards was in jail? Shit. I knew I knew he was in jail. Yeah, I yeah. just I just thought that was normal too. You thought jail was normal. <laughs> I thought it was normal too. Yeah. Because you seen so many other people go to jail. All his homies. Yeah. I hang out with their kids at school, and their dad would be locked up with my dad or some shit like that. Wow. Yeah. I thought it was just normal. Did you uh? Did you you heard a lot of stories about your dad or whatever? Like you know, in the streets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. People from his generation. He would he he's. He uh, he was he was he's like he's like loved. He was the young he was the youngest in his generation if, I, if I'm not mistaken, because my my older homie tells me that to this day. And you got right. 500 viewers in this motherfucker. Yeah, it's gonna go up more. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But yeah. um, um, that's crazy, man. It's it's so it's it's like uh, so how was it? Did you know he was in the game? Yep. I knew he when was, did you know? Like when since when I could understand shit what? since elementary, yeah, I already knew. I used to walk to uh, through the alley and I would see the the rivals hit up TRG I see on the wall, and I I'll, I'll be in elementary walking with other Cambodian kids, 
And I'll be like, I used to hear, hear my dad diss him a lot. He'll say roaches. So when I was young, I thought it stand for the roach game. Like I'll see it hit up uh -huh. on the wall and I just thought it was normal. And I hear, I'll see, I'll see like when my dad did come, he'll pull up with all his homies. You know what I'm saying? And like, I knew, he, I knew what he was about and shit like that. Right. I knew where he was from. Did you, uh, did you, did you look up to that? I didn't look up to it. I, I just understood it and I was just always around it because my dad was the first gang member from our family when we came to the U.S. and everyone just followed suit. Like all my uncles, his little shadow, baby shadow. Um, a whole bunch of shadows. Just a, yeah, a whole bunch of, <laughs> just a whole bunch of family members from, from the hood. Right. And then even my, it, it, on my mom's side, there's no gang members except one. He got deported. He's in Cambodia right now. And I, I believe that he's younger than my mom. So when my mom was with my dad, maybe when, before I was born or when I was a baby or some shit, he got influenced and he, he, got, he got into the hood too. So it was both sides of my family from the hood. I was just always around it type shit. So he said, so, so do you know like, do you know like, I know you say your father told you, uh, you know, you told you about the gangs or whatever. Like, you know how like all of that started? Out here for for the Cambodians. Yeah, yeah. It was to protect our. It was to protect our protect ourselves. You know what I'm protect saying. Protect yourself from who? From 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 getting picked on by the Hispanics. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. But because uh, Cambodians and Hispanics and Long Beach, only Long Beach particularly, not no L. A. Not Compton, nowhere else. Just Long Beach. It, it was very, very racist. Very. It was worse when uh, when I was growing up. Yeah, I noticed you said something like that in one of your interviews. You said uh. Cambodia, I mean, you said uh, Long Beach is racist. Mm -hmm. Like, can you speak? And and before you say that, like, there was another person, um, Johnny Chang, right? He was watching, right, right, he's right. watching, but uh, or he was, and he spoke about the same thing over here in um, Alhambra. Was it? I, I mean, yeah, uh, Monterey Park, Monterey Alhambra, Park, that Rosemary, area. Yeah. And he was like, he basically said the same thing you said that right, it was right. like, you know, uh, uh, the new influx of Chinese coming into right, right. the area, and it was predominantly. Mexicans, right, right, and they had to like you know they was getting picked on and like you know it was like yeah I th I, th I think just because you know I didn't experience it well I experienced the racism and all the other shit but from my dad's side it's like when we came over here we didn't want to just make gangs and be cool and all that shit it, it was just they were getting picked on so they had to get together and, and protect themselves and I believe that's what the Chinese and over there was going through it's because the you know. Is predominantly Hispanic and black gang. So when they see Asians doing the same shit, they you know they gonna get on it type shit. So they I believe the Asians we 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 started just protecting ourselves really, mm. and it led to other shit. Right. So like, like, so the gang started because of you know just to you know have protection for yeah, the people to protect ourselves uh, yeah. uh from other people right do you yeah, know yeah. how how would people get picked on like how do you know i mean, uh, i remember my dad time, my dad said in the pbs interview they interviewed him before uh, oh were they interviewed him yeah, with yeah. PBS? they interviewed me and then they they wanted to talk to him um he said just basic shit cuz we came over here with nothing so we got no car to go to the store or nothing so mm -hmm. him just going walking to the store to get milk or get groceries for my grandma uh, his mom and, and coming back, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll say, come back, go go back to your country, wherever you came from. Uh, fuck, fuck Chino, shit like that, nips, whatever, you know. And they, they just couldn't take it. And then they snap. <laughs> Us and the, and, the, and, the, and the rivals, they snap. But to the right. point where they just snap to the point where we was green lighted before, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it was because of it, it was because damn I, I heard that green light situation yeah, yeah. and it was basically because of that because of that because of that because I guess they just you know they want to go hard on us and they, uh, the Asians just went two times three times harder mm. and, and took it to another level and they had to get help from the Mexican Mafia you know wow that's that's uh <laughs> he wasn't ready. Yeah. He wasn't ready for that. Yeah, cause man, you talking about people, people that, that came, just came that from just war. came like, from yeah, war, they know Chinese war babies. <laughs> yeah, killing. They came from the killing fields, man. Like, How you gonna fuck with people that's fresh from it, like from the wars in the jungle? There ain't no camera. There ain't no police shit like that. You know? Yeah, it was just yeah. they started getting crazy. Yeah, exactly. Um, how do you think that made the? Uh, how do you think that made the? Uh, you know the elders feel like your grandma and stuff like that. Like, uh, I, I feel like they all came here to escape that. Yeah, exactly. I felt like they hate. Of course, they're gonna hate it, and they probably hate it to this day. But 
they kind of understand, you know mm. what I'm saying? They understand. They understand like, oh, yeah, man, like, if they don't do that, we're going to end up still getting fucked with, maybe robbed and jacked and homes broken into, you know what I'm saying? Right. So would you say it was necessary? I think so. If I was a part of that generation, I would have I would have said it was necessary for sure. Right. For but sure. then but then but then um but then it turns into something else because after that after that, you know, after the immediate like, you know what I'm saying, like protecting each other, protecting right, right. then it just turns into something else, right? What do you mean? Like in terms of people's Y'all start fighting each other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it flipped to that, of course. Right. So, like, do you think, I mean, yeah, you you, 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 you kind of, like, stop that, but then here's a whole nother thing. There's and a whole it's like, and thing, now yeah. it's just, like, their own people yeah. type shit. Yeah, that shit. Uh, I was too young when it started, but that shit started, it's up, and that shit's just... It's there. Yeah, it's I there. mean, yeah, yeah, it's there. But how do you... Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, I don't want you to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't trying to get you this, but you, right, right. as a or more of a mature person than you was when you was 18. Yeah, yeah, you know for I'm sure, saying? for sure. Like, how do you, how do you think, like, that, like, would you ever, and, and, and would you ever want the people to, like, be more, you know what I mean, like, in unity instead of, like, you know, fighting. Do you, do you even see that that's even possible? Uh, I, don't, I don't see it as possible at all. It's not possible. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not up to me, but people do tell me I got a voice and this and that, but I just feel like it's, it's too many it's too many uh, casualties already. You know what I'm saying? But how about when you too go to prison? Shit. Like, when you go to prison... Yeah, that's, that's, that's the part that's the part where it's weird because when you go to... Out here in California, when you go to prison... We run other and others is all together. You so know you have to like that's what I'm saying. So you have to like you know you don't gotta like be best friends with the dude and and, and like but when it come to war he might be the in there he might, he be, might the be the one save that you. save your life yeah right <laughs> for sure. So so what I'm saying is is like and then when you come home and when they come home it's just back to, to back, back to, to the, that yep back to the bullshit right. <laughs> but I you know what it is you know what I you know you know I I, I read somewhere where like yo. In, in humans, right? Like the way we are, we fight among, we fight. Like we always, oh, we always. fight. The only way we can actually come together is if like aliens come and attack us. <laughs> then we're all gonna be together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Then we're gonna fight. And I feel like that's 100% yeah. true, like, cause that's, that's just how it is. We're gonna need but, each other, yeah. But it, it shows that, it shows that it can be done. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I mean, I know you're saying it can't be done and you don't see it possible. But you just said you just gave me a, a a a instance where it could happen. You know what I'm saying? In a place where it's just like you know you 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 basically outnumbered. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? And I feel like I feel like uh I feel like um so I don't feel like there's lost hope. I feel like it could happen because if it's happening there, it could possibly happen. Right, and you right. know what I'm saying? Like you know, I just think um I think that we go through so much shit like just from everybody else. That I feel like, uh, you know, I would like to see that, man. I would right, like right. to see. But then, how can you tell somebody who lost that, their brother? Yeah, how can you tell who them lost that? their cousin? Right. For sure. How can I? How can you tell somebody? Oh, I, it sounds good. Right, right. You know what I mean? It sounds like ah, right, yeah, we all want, we all want to be together. Yeah, yeah for but, sure. You know what I'm saying? But how can I tell you that when you know exactly. what I mean? You, you dealing with that you exactly? Feel me? And and it's, it's not like they never try. They try. They tried a peace treaty back they then. They tried. They tried. The older homies, they, they actually tried. Right. They tried and it still just went, it got worse, I think. <laughs> it got worse. It got worse, yeah. Damn. What What was it like growing up in, in Cambodia town for you, Long Beach? It was cool. It was, It was. you know, I grew up with my grandma most of my life from, um, from like, probably like, I say like two years old to like 13. Right. So I grew up with her. I spent most of my childhood um, at my grandma's house. I was the only fucking young kid there. I grew up around a lot of like old old folks and shit. I grew up in a gambling house. You grew up in a gambling house? In a gambling yeah, house. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I grew up in a gambling house. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I grew up my, in a gambling house, man. My father like yeah. owned gambling houses and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I used to just be in gambling houses all the time. Yeah, me too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And that's how I got into music, really, because I just, I just, I like I like you. I I used to like watching wrestling, but wrestling wasn't on all the time. Right. Who was your, move in a little bit because you cutting out the camera. Yeah. Who Who was your favorite wrestler? 
Um, my favorite wrestler, I ain't gonna lie, it's probably it was probably it was The Rock. Then it moved to John Cena, right? Because John Cena was the rapper, and I was already like, I all right, like all right. Music. So now let's get to the music thing. So how did wrestling translate to music? Um, it was just you know we had no cable, and in the living room, my my Cambodian um grandparents that my grandpa had to pay the rent because they they off section eight and they old as fuck they can't get a job so they was he was hustling like they'll come he'll have a fridge he'll sell drinks food packs of cigarettes he always had cartons of cigarettes and they'll just be gambling in there and i'm the only young kid i had no siblings there was no other young kid in the house so what i would do i would go in my my, my uncle's room uh the one that was from the hood but he, he, he was locked up too and i'll just go on the tv and watch like the music channels and shit like that, you know, mm-hmm. like BET, MTV, and all that shit, and and because wrestling will only come on if I if I'm not wrong, like at night type shit, like seven or something. Right, shit. right, yeah. right. And I'll just watch the music shit in the daytime and sit in front of the screen. I had to sit close because it was so, it was so loud. loud. It was so right, loud yeah, in the yeah, fucking yeah, gambling yeah. house. So I'll just sit up close. That's, maybe that's why I wear glasses. and shit. Would they be gambling? What, what, uh, they play this Cambodian game. Uh, uh, it's not popular. But it's called. It's not the one with the with the with the rooster. And oh, the, it's, it's not, not that, that one. Okay. That that one's when we celebrate like New Year's. It was this one where they have a big ass, big ass bowl with, with rice dice. in it. Oh. Yeah, with rice and then a plate and then a dice with a toothpick in the mm-hmm. middle. And they spin the toothpick and then they put a cap over it. And it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a like a colorful rug and it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. All the numbers on the dice and whatever that dice come out is what you hit. That's dope. Yeah. So you so it was so loud you had to sit there in front of the I had to sit, yeah, had So to what sit. videos do you remember watching? Damn, that's crazy because there was one that came to my mind. It was one, you know how they play the same shit on BET, right? All the time. Yeah, yeah. it was it was this weird ass one. It was a dude with braids, like a light skinned nigga. It, his name is like D'Angelo or some shit. You know D'Angelo, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he's a singer though. The singer nigga, yeah. yeah, but his shit would come on and his videos was weird because the nigga was like naked or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. what I remember. And I hate that part because I'm like, damn. I they gotta... used to play it all the time. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, I gotta wait till that shit passed. And I was a little kid. I'm like, fuck, this shit, this shit weak. And then all the other shit came on that was hot at the time, you know, P. Diddy and all that shit. Right. I see Jen on that motherfucker freestyling and shit. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, so you was, that's when you started, that's, Around that time, yeah, yeah, around that time. How old was you when that when that happened? Uh, like elementary, all the way to middle school, watching all the shits. Right. Yep. And my my mom and dad, when I do be in the car with them, whenever they come get me, it'll be just it'll be all hip hop. Mm. Oh, yeah. they was listening to hip hop. Yeah, they, they speak clear English. They listen mm. to hip hop to this day. They speak clear English. So like like I right, so back to like how it was in Long Beach when you was coming up, right? So was it like gang infested everywhere? Did you see yeah, it all super, everywhere? Super super gang infested. Super gang infested. Super 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 gang infested. It was it's probably like to the point where you you couldn't like you used to walk the street by yourself. And I used to walk. Yeah, I used to walk. Yeah, yeah. As a kid, I used to explore a lot. Like right. a lot. Like when I before I run. What do you mean explore? Yeah, I used to just walk around the whole fucking city. I walk from my grandma house to my other grandma house, way on Pacific, like far, uh, way on on the other side of the city, just far as fuck, just walking, just like walking. Or when I got older as a teenager, just riding bikes and shit. Just you know, there was no social media, no phone, none of that shit. I'm just with other neighborhood kids, and we just all mobbing everywhere, stealing out the store, just doing little kid shit, you know. But, but just exploring the whole city. Right. And, and then, and then it was what, always active. What would you see? Just you know. When we, and when you say active, like what does that mean? A lot of you know, just gang, gang shit. Just a lot of gang infested shit. Like shootouts, all type of shit. Hell, you know the ghetto Drive birds, bars, all, ghetto all, birds. Yeah, everything. Basically everything. Yellow tape, then shit. So in these neighborhoods, was it in that neighborhood? Was it like all Asians, or was it like that neighborhood was crazy? It's it's tricky. Um, on one apparel is tricky because it's like a mixture. It's like you could see Asians. You're going to see a lot of Asians, Cambodians for sure. And then you're going to see Mexicans and you're going to see blacks. Like, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a neutral area, but yeah, I would. I, my grandma's house, I would call it a neutral area because it's like everybody passing through there. But you go like some streets down, that's like way on 15th. That's like predominantly the Mexicans and, or like, you know, Cam- Cambodian town is like mixed. It's mixed. It ain't just all Cambodians. If you go drive down Anaheim right now, you're going to see Mexicans walking around and shit. Right. Yeah. So it's like where she lived was is like right there, Cambodia town. And, right. Uh, that shit so was, you seen all types of people. 
Every like, yeah, all type of people. My neighbors was Mexican on the left, uh, my grandma house, and then on two two next door to that Mexican house was a big ass apartment with all blacks hanging out smoking Whoa. weed in the front. Yeah. So you grew up with like black and Spanish yeah, people. Yeah, hell yeah. Mixed in. Mixed in for sure. It wasn't like. The, eight, nah, the Cambodians a, over here. Nah, there's some sides where it's separated. Like, you won't catch the Mexicans walking through there, but then, then the Mexican side, you won't catch the Asians or blacks walking through there. There's some parts where it's separated like that, but where my grandma house was in, in Cambodia town, it was just all neutral. Mm. Not neutral like everyone get along, but like neutral like anyone could come through this motherfucker. <laughs> so was everybody getting along though? Like, when nah, you was coming nah. No, nah. so the black it, people stayed to each themselves? The and black and Asians got along. Black and Asians got along. That's who got along. For real? Yeah, they, it's like low-key, they teamed up type shit against the Mexicans. Because the Mexicans, even to this day, they go against all the fucking Crips. Word. So, so, that's crazy. So, um, how, how did, like, so, uh, um, how was, how was, like, what was the craziest thing you saw as a kid, like? You know, just walking around the street or was something, not the crib, but, you know, any memories that you have that, you know, that stick out the most to you? Uh, the, I always heard and knew it was racist, but um, probably the first time when, when, when the homie got jumped by, the, by some Mexicans and I was young. I was in middle school, but I was wearing, do, we were wearing do-rags at the time. So the Mexicans that hopped out probably thought we was like older type shit. And then the, the homie, he, he was the only one that was really banging, but he was banging a click, but he was the only one really banging. We were still young. We wasn't banging shit at the time, and he just, and he got jumped. That's when, that's when I knew it was racist. Right. Like, racist, racist. Um, like, you know. So, like, what, they jumped out where he was Asian, your homie? Yeah, yeah. And I don't they, know where he had no more, because that's not my homie no more. Right. But, like, I don't even know. I, I think he changed his life, really. But he lived down the street from my grandma's house. On the same block, and he was from some little clique and shit, and he got jumped. And I ain't gonna lie, me and the other homie that was with him didn't know what to do, <laughs> cause we didn't, we we never experienced. We were like, what the How fuck? How old was you? We thought they hated him. I was probably like sixth grade, sixth, seventh grade. Right. You yeah. was a kid. Yeah, I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, that, and after he got jumped, he got jumped so bad. I think I think he turned his life straight though. But that's after what, that, after yeah, that, after that, after that, yeah. cause he was young too. He was only like eighth grade, two years older than me. But um, he was like. Uh, he got fucked up bad. He changed his life, and that's but the, uh, the, just that day alone. That's when I noticed, like, I can't just be walking around, do rags out, and look trying to look all tough and shit. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not really, if I, if I'm not really from anywhere, or try to, you know what I'm saying? As a kid too, like, can't just be going anywhere and shit like that, thinking it's cool because it could have got worse that day. Right. That's when I knew though. How how did um how did like uh. How did like the the Cambodian gangs, like you know your gang, turn like get adopted into like the Crips, like the black gangs? Like, how did that come about? Uh, I think just us growing up in the city and just Long around Beach. the same. Yeah, because Long Beach is because there's a lot of Crips in in, in it's all it's, Crips. It's all Crips in Long Beach. It's, mm -hmm. it's there's either no, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. It's, it's either you all Crip or you're just a, a nothing, not a blood or a Crip. And then you're a crip killer. Right. So you're a CK or you're C or you're just nothing. Like there's gangs out there that's just nothing. Like the rival, they're just their own shit, their own color. Right. You know what I'm saying? But there's no bloods, there's no, there's, and, uh, and all the Mexicans, you know, most of them push CK. Oh, all the Mexicans. Yeah, they push CK, yeah. So, so, um, when, when did that, like, that transition into that? Because at first, like the uh, y'all wasn't crip, right? Was y'all crip first? Did y'all? Um, I don't think we was. I think I think we. I don't think we was. But I think, when you came about it, it was already done. Yeah, when I came when I came around, it was already done. But I was still kind of like confused about it on the fence. But growing up in Long Beach, even if you don't bang, it's, it's I don't know. It feels, it's kind of weird. It's like you just got that crip love. You know what I'm saying? All the girls from there, all the guys that don't bang. It, it's just it's just a crip city. Everyone cousin and everyone crips and shit. So. It's kind of like just how we adapted and shit. Mm. Yeah, well, who, what was the first time you lost a homie? Mm. Uh, probably when I first got put on the hood, the first homie that died, but I wasn't close to him. It, like right when I got in the hood, 14, 15, we, went, we had to go to a funeral already. 
but I wasn't I wasn't close to him like that. So what was the first homie that died that you was close to? Um, probably when I got out when I got out of prison, 2016. Uh, the homie Dirt, Dirt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I Dirt. heard you you yeah, say yeah. his name before. Yep, Dirt. And then after that, it was a couple more, like a domino. Right effect. after. Yeah, right after. Wow. What did that do to you, man? That shit. That shit molded me to who I am today. It changed me, like big time. That, Cause that that shit was um like tra- traumatic. You know what I'm saying? How close were they to you? Every day. Every day with you. Dirt, dirt hit a little different because uh, when he died, we left on a bad note. Because uh. Damn. Yeah, so it's kind of like guilty, guilty um, just guilty, you know, because dirt didn't. He's not. He wasn't even from Long Beach. I just, I'm the one who brought him to the hood. He's younger than me. Mm. I brought him to the hood. He gets put on. He falls in love with the lifestyle. All the homies love him. Uh, and he just, we had a disagreement and shit. And you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then he passed away. Before, he passed, we made amends, but we didn't get like tight back together. When we made amends, he died like a week after that. Wow. In, in 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 Mando, you see him in the Mando, right? Yep. You yep. said my homie Dirt died over a lean bottle. Mm-hmm. What what that's like? What was that about? We just selling lean and shit, you know. And somebody robbed him. Try, I think try to rob him, you know. We don't. No one really know the no, real story because right. he wasn't there, type shit. Right. We don't know if the homie Dirt wanted to rob them or they wanted to rob him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I don't, I still don't know the real story to this day. And that made you like. That like, did that make you angrier? Did that like, how did that change you? It made me, it made me angry, but it also I think made me strong. You know what I'm saying? I I, I think it made it made me like strong type shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it molded me to who I am and shit. Like you know, built a lot of character. Cause I didn't, I seen a, a lot of homies. There was like a gang of homies that passed before Dirt, but. And I was close to a few of them, but I wasn't like every day with them type shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was close to him, like every day. How old was shit. you when that happened? Let me see. Tell you me was me rapping see. already? Yeah, yeah. I was rapping, but uh, I didn't. I wasn't like. I wasn't. I wasn't. You know, big and popping right, so, and shit. So how old was you? Let's see. It's probably like 20, 23. 23. Yeah, Twenty-three. Right. 23, 22, one of them. Did you think that, uh, did you think that, like, you know, you would, what was your pos? did you ever think, like, damn, I might die out here? Like, did, did that cross your mind? Yeah, like, when, when, after the second one died, after Dirt, I was like, damn, this my, like, they would take my crowd, you know what I'm saying? People I was with every, like, every day type shit, and I was just thinking, um, like, I, I could be next, because uh, there was times where if me and Dirt was, was was we didn't have that um we we didn't leave on a bad note I could have been with him that night walking mm. out walking out or my boy Popov that died right after dirt on the same block um he called that 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 day he called me and told me to take him to Walmart to get some get some bread somebody wired him some bread I said I'm on the way to the studio to do this video with a AD you know AD yeah, yeah. oh AD yeah AD that's crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like I'm on the way to do the video wait what year was this. This was 2018. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So like a year and some change after Dirt died, and I'm like, man, I'm, I gotta go do this with um AD. Like I'm already on the road. I'm already on the way. And this it, it was a it's a stretch from Long Beach to fucking Hollywood. It was North Hollywood at that. So I'm like, I'm already on the way. And then he like, all right. Uh, he called another boy up, and then the other boy ended up getting in that incident with him, and then he died. And you that could have been you. Could have been me. Yeah. Damn. Could have been different, you know. I don't know. Or it could have been another way around. It could have been another way around for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, AD, huh? You, 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 you. <laughs> me and AD go way AD back. AD from No Jumper. <laughs> Did you see that situation with me and AD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I saw seen it when that. it was unfolding. I seen it. I just, you know, didn't didn't really want to get into it too much. I'm like, at least they settled it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like grown men for sure. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. What did you say to yourself when you seen that unfolding? I'm like, damn, I, I'm just, I, know, I know both of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a little, you know, like you said, people, humans, we, it, it's a natural instinct. We're going to argue. Right. Or let, have disagreements. Let, let me see if AD, I didn't know you know him like that. Let me see if he pick up the phone, bro. Let me see if he picks up the phone. Yeah, I know him way back. 
Let me see if he. Hey, hey you phone. got a USB charger? USB C? Right there. Matt, what's the deal? Yo, AD, what's up? AD from No Jumper. Well, you, oh, you must be streaming. Yeah, I'm streaming. You know the vibes. Yo, look, I got a guest on here. I didn't even know that you would knew him like that, bro. Who? Stupid Young. That's my boy. Hold on, hold on. I'll pass the phone to you, bro. Put, put on the mic. Hey, hey, man, what's the deal, bro? What's the Stupid deal? Young, what's the deal, man? What's happening, man? <laughs> I ain't seen you in a minute, my guy. I know. I've been tucked up. I've been tucked up. Been a cut. I, I'm, pot, I'm outside now. Well, nigga, you gotta come fuck around with us, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'ma tap in, my boy. Give my, give my line for Mac. All right, all right, bet. All right. Say no more. Yeah. Yo, hey, yo, yo, hey, yo, bro. I ain't know you had a song with you. You had a song with him and all that. I got a song with everybody, man. Come on. Yo, you got a new <laughs> song out too, right now, right? I heard it. Yeah, I saw it on the radio. Featuring Kayla for real, for reals, man. <laughs> yeah, yo, everybody tap into my bro's song, man. What's the name of it, bro? Hey, uh, still learning. Still learning. Put them, put them AD emojis in the chat. So Spider Man. Uh, put the Spider Man AD emojis in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yo, AD, man, I appreciate you. Yo, hold on. First of all, what was what was Stupid Young like when you first met him, man? What was your first impression of Stupid Young? Young turned up. Young turned up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my boy, my, boy, my boy, real one, man. Ah, uh, no doubt, man, no doubt. Yo, man, be. Uh, I, I'll hit you after this, man. Be safe. Uh, All right. How'd you meet him? <clears throat> Damn, I forgot how I met him. I think um, it was just online type shit. Oh, you met him. We online. know. Oh, we know mutual people too. Like mm -hmm. you know, Compton and Long Beach. You know, it's like that. Right. Yeah. Next. Door. Oh, it's Compton right next door. Hell yeah! You you take side streets over there. Oh, yeah. okay. You know uh, us. What, what's what they say, Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you're oh, in trouble. Oh, now you know you're in trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. ain't nothing but a G thing, yeah, baby. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your that. favorite rapper coming up? It depends on the age, because as I grew, it, it just changed up. Right. But uh, N Nipsey's my number one to this day. Nipsey's Nipsey, number, number one. one. From like, all the way from like, middle school to now. Mm. Type shit. Still to this day. What, um, when, what, what got you to do your first bid? Uh, four five nine, which is uh residential burglary. Residential burglary. I no, I, I was getting locked up. Juvenile, my juvenile hall, teenage years. I was always going to juvenile hall for dumb shit, gun case, um, having fucking X pills and dumb shit. But then um, when I got older and I went to the joint was um residential burglary, type shit. Right. Yeah. What what, what you was flocking houses? Houses, and then once I was just doing houses until I got caught. Then when I got caught. I always heard some shit when I was growing up, like, you only as good as your last crime or something like that. You know right. what I'm saying? You, that's a, you, and, and when I got called residential, I tried to do commercial, but commercial ended early. It, it ended right away, like our first How time. would you do, a re like, how many residentials did you do? I mean, I don't want you to get, I mean, but it's like past, like, it's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Man. But how did you get into I did, that I shit? did a handful. A it, handful. It, was just, it was just the thing to do. Kind of like how everyone was doing, just like two years ago, everyone was doing EDD. Right. Like, like everybody was fucking doing it. It was just trending. It was just... Flocking was just trending. Mm. It was just the thing to do out here in LA. Everyone was doing it. The Mexicans, the Blacks, Asians, everybody. And like, I seen older homies fucking living good off that shit. So we had no other way. We was like, fuck it. We gonna do it too. How old was you when you first did that? First flock, probably like 15. How much money was you making? Uh, it's all hit and miss. Hit and miss. Sometimes you walk and in and, and it'd be nothing. Yeah, because all the older, I believe when the older homies was doing it, that's when it was still, it was still good. People wasn't cracking down on it like that. Right. And then basically we got the leftovers. We got the crumbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So it they was knew like, they was on already. Yeah, baby. it was on it already, and and it was kind of harder. But you know, it was times we passed for sure. We passed, and then there was times we didn't. There was times when fucking open and safe have a dollar in there, mm -hmm. like you know. So you got you got locked up. How'd you get caught? Okay, I I could retire. I, I I did retire. I retired hitting residential burglaries. But I could honestly say this: I never got caught doing a residential burglary red-handed. Oh, I never got caught so in told, the house. Somebody told on you. Or something? They called me nine months later because well, I, it, it, this case closed. Yeah, I can talk over. about it yeah, now. Yeah. But nine. Oh, this is what happened. So we hit this one house, right? And um. I'm up with the, the drivers in the car, whatever. I'm with the homies, and we we there's a big ass safe, 
I'm like, I, I'm the one who found a safe. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I'm this is what we need. Safe. Yeah, I'm like, where was this, the safe at? It was in the closet in the right, room. I'm right. like, this, I'm like, this is what we, this is what we came for right here. But there was other boxes of shit. Uh -huh. Like there was jewelry in a box and all type of shit. So in order to grab that safe, the the material of it, you we had gloves on. I had to take off my gloves to get a firm grip because right. it was it was a big ass safe. So I took off my gloves, put it in my pocket, got a firm grip. We put the safe in the car. And then I went back in the house, looked around. I grabbed the jewelry box. I threw the jewelry box at the homie that was near the door. I said, put this in the backpack. It's, it's jewelry in there. Boom. So we, we go. We go back to the hood or whatever. We cracked the safe. It was, it was bands in there, like 20 bands each, mm. four people. So, so we so happy you, you, as fuck. You it, was a, it, <laughs> you it, 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 it was a gun in there. It was money in there. What? We was happy, right? Right. So I, I'm with my girl, whatever, and I'm like, let's go eat. We going to Korean barbecue. What? We Korean go to LA. Barbecue. We go to LA in the bucket in the hoopty yeah. with the homies. We eating that Korean barbecue. We happy as fuck. We got bread. It, uh, Christmas is before Christmas. Uh huh. So we all happy as fuck. Like, yeah, I'm gonna buy my mom this with the woo. And then, um, and then nine months later, oh, and I did this while I had a nine to five. Right. I always worked. I always worked as a teenager. Oh. I always had a job. You always I, had a job. Yeah, and then I was working in Santa Monica at an office with a nonprofit. I used to work for a nonprofit in in the office, and in, in a big ass building. But on the way to my girl was bringing me to work, nine a.m. She was bringing me a charger comes and they cut us off. They and then like we were like, what the fuck? And then more uh, co uh, cop cars came, but a lot of undercover chargers came and they blocked the whole ten freeway, ten west, going to Santa Monica. Wow. They blocked it. They all blocked it and Just they didn't let no cars pass. Yeah. Okay. And then um. The car that cut us off in the front, they took, they, 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 they was talking on the little mic show. They, they told, they said, driver, come out on your hand, on your knees, put your hands on your head and, and crawl backwards. And my girl had to do that. And they made me do that. And then I had to do that. And then, uh. What that, was going through your mind when you was doing that? I, I didn't know. I didn't that know. was your first time? Yeah. That's the first time I got caught. And then I didn't but that know. was your first time getting pulled out the car like that? I don't know. I got put out the car before, like, but like hands? that, but not like that though. No, That's like still that. the craziest one because yeah. they stopped the whole freeway, right, right. rush hour, go, everyone going to work. They stopped it for that. So what was going through your mind at that time? I was like, I was just, I, I didn't know what it was, what, what it was for. So you wasn't really I worried was, about it? I mean, no, nah, I was worried because it looked right. like some shit. I'm like, right. damn, what they? Like, but at that time, when I had that job, I was still gang banging heavy right. in the streets. I think, I, yeah, I was a gang banging heavy in the streets. And I didn't know, you know, doing all type of shit. You don't know what the fuck is for. That it looked like some serious shit. I didn't right. think it was for no fucking flock. Right. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? And then I'm crawling, and shit. I have my work collar shirt on and shit. I'm going. They crawling. They put us in the car, and then they said, oh, residential burglary four five nine. And then I said, man, my girl have nothing to do with it. They said, we know, we know she don't. We've been watching you. They've been watching me for like a month to to see if I'm gonna hit some other houses. But we hit up, we hit fat. Well, that, that that was fat to us at the time. We hit so fat that time that we didn't care about hitting more. We wasn't hitting more. But they were they they was telling me what I was wearing and shit. Like, yeah, we seen you coming out of your girl's car in uh, some pajamas, this and that. Like, it was on it. But I said, yeah, my girl ain't got nothing to do with it. With that, let her go. They let her go. They raided her house though, because technically I didn't have no address at that time. I was like really like homeless, like just going around everywhere and shit. Right. And then they raided her house though, because that's where they was watching me at. And then, uh, yeah. And then I got my first strike because of that right there. That's crazy. Why did they go so oh. hard? Well, yeah, yeah. So get, how, yeah, did, they how catch did they catch me? you? Because yeah, you had yeah. the gloves off. I threw the jewelry box. And he didn't catch it. <laughs> he didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> the jewelry box. They said they found the jewelry box in front of the door with my prints. Only I'm the only one who got really like in trouble. Arrested. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, and he didn't catch it. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, he didn't catch it, and we didn't remember because once we cracked that safe open, and we seen all yeah, the was bread. It, it, we for, I forgot about that fucking jewelry Damn, box. Damn, <laughs> bro. I just, I just, had, I'm just going through flashbacks, memory lane right now, cause I'm talking. I'm like, this is the first time I actually yeah, I broke never, it down. I never heard you break yeah. it down. That's why I was, I, I heard you in other interviews. I watched a bunch of yeah. interviews, like you know what I'm saying, prior to this. I wanted to know that I never heard you break it down, yeah, so yeah. I had to, I had to ask that. You know what I'm saying? But for that's, sure. that's crazy. <laughs> so how much, how much time did they give you for that? Nah, um, I took a deal. I, my the workplace, the nonprofit I was working for, they hired a lawyer for me, right? And um, they hired a lawyer, and that lawyer had had uh, I, he bailed me out, hired, got a lawyer, and then I had to do some shit. Like 
I had to get pictures where I was a fuck. Where, 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 where my uncle died, I was a monk at the temple. Grabbed that. Some community. You was a monk in the temple? No, nah, because in, in in Southeast Asian culture, when um someone dies in your family, like okay. you have to um you, you you have a choice if you want to be a monk for a couple of days just for the funeral. Right, right. You right. shave off your head and your eyebrows. And you did like it. That. I did it for my uncle, yeah. Right. And then um I had to grab pictures from that. I had to grab like work recommendation letters and all type of shit. And then basically they gave me probation with a strike and I took that. Mm. And then when I went to the pen was the commercial burglary shit. I'm like, all right, I got called for residential. It's time to hang that up. I'm going to try it. the new shit, commercial. A commercial? I'm going to try yeah. something else. Yeah, try the stores and restaurants and shit, and that shit didn't go well. I didn't, and, and I you didn't got, get too good. You got, um, you, you got knocked the first time? Uh, I would say like this. Yeah, the first time, the first time. Yeah. First time you got knocked? Yeah, yeah. Ah, damn. <laughs> and how you get knocked with that? That that's another crazy story, but man, that shit might take up most of our time. But I I cut it I cut it I cut it I cut it short. So basically, it was eight of us. Um, we we broke into this um, Chinese restaurant, whatever, or this place Chinese. It was a Chinese food place, and they had a big ass. They didn't have a safe. They had a vault. A vault. A vault. Wow. So we try. The homie pulls up his mom van. To the Chinese shit. Y'all use your mom's van? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And his mom was gangster too. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, her too. No so doubt. He, he, the homie, this this the homie that passed away the, uh, after dirt. Okay. He's my He was my crime partner. We caught cases together and okay. shit. That's who, I caught, that's who I went to the pen with, matter of fact. Okay. My crime partner. But he he pulled up his mom van. We tried to put the vote in the fucking van. In the van? It's heavy. It's like, wow. when we finally got it in, it was about two hours. Damn. When we finally got it in. And there's... And this was at a fucking, this, this was at a crazy place, like a pier. You know those beach with the piers? Mm-hmm. And people are looking. And it, it was at night, though. Late at night, but there's still people on that pier looking. They were looking at y'all? They were looking while we were doing no. it. But we trying, we trying to like, fuck, hurry up. Long story short, we got the shit in the van. The homie drive off. And, be, and before he exit, it's a bike laying right there. I'm like, man, fuck that bike. Run it over. We gonna, all this money in here, we're going to buy a new van. New, <laughs> new, whatever, new. And this nigga want to hop out the car. The driver and go, he said, I'm gonna take that bike too. Cause the homie was aggressive, the one that died. I'm like, bro, fuck that bike, nigga. We got enough money in this fucking vault to buy real fucking bike, a thousand bikes. He go out and he said, all right, I'm gonna just move it. He grabbed the bike and he moved the bike out the way. With his hand, with his With his hand. You but then no, the police came right behind uh, us. But if we would have been at least a little ahead, they came right behind us. Four of the homies jumped out the car, they ran. And then they say they opened up, because I was in the back with the near the safe. And then they opened the slime door. They said, Young, let's go. They said, You're not gonna go? And I looked at the safe. I'm like, I I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I thought we was gonna get away. And, I, and I'm gonna be the first one with the safe. <laughs> I thought we was gonna get away. So they ran, right? They ran, they took off, and I, I looked at the safe. I'm like, nah, y'all go ahead. And I and I hug, I hugged that safe. And then um I took <laughs> what and, the, and the, and the homie, you, the homie put the car in drive and drove off. And then when he drove off, I'm thinking he gonna drive on the street, right? You know where he drove? He drove on the fucking pier, where the water is at. Wow. Where you don't supposed to drive. Right. And I'm like, and then I, now, there. now I'm like, fuck the safe. I'm like, hey, bro. I'm like, pop. His name was Pop off. I'm like, pop. I'm like, let me out. Let let me out. He like, fuck that. You want to go back to jail? And I'm like, damn. I'm like I can't just jump out. He go. He doing. He going fast. And like I'm like, nigga, if you don't drive off this pier, we are gonna go in the water. So he drove. And they on y'all though, huh? They on y'all? They on us. We you going in, we the, in the pursuit. We we in the pursuit. Now wow. it's like three, four cars. And you hugging him? You yeah, hugging, I'm the, hugging safe. the safe. I'm thinking he gonna get away. I don't know what's wrong with me, but he drove. So now he left the. I told him get the fuck off the pier. or We gonna go in the water and die. I'm like go 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 in like go in the parking structure. Now we in the parking structure, trying to fucking get away. And then they maneuvered us. They hit us. Boom. They they hit us. They did the maneuver. We hit the wall, and then fucking ended up in. Fucking Redondo Beach Jail. Damn. <laughs> Did you bring the safe with you? <laughs> yeah, that's the cope. That we will never know how much was in that vault to this day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, that vault was tall as you, Mac. <laughs> Yo, you didn't even know how much money was in the safe. No, nah, we don't. What if there wasn't no money in the safe? Then damn. Hey, it don't hurt to try. <laughs> <laughs> My son was hugging on to the safe. Hold on. Let's, it let's, was a vote. It was a vote. It was, hugging, was hugging on to Somebody the say vote. that's a whole movie. I'm telling that you. That is a movie. That's a movie bro. for sure. That is a movie. Yo, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to try to get some. We should try to get somebody to uh, animate that. That's something funny. Yeah, that, yeah. 
That's a that's, funny that's ass story. thing. I got charged for that already, so you know it ain't. Yeah, no, yeah, nah, they, they, they can't do nothing yeah, about you it. You can yeah. talk about that. That's 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 something that you can share. You know? that's a part <laughs> Somebody of says stupid monk still carrying the safe. <laughs> <laughs> stupid monk still carrying the safe. Yeah. Uh. Yo, let's read some of the super chats. Yo, if y'all want me to read, I'm gonna give y'all a minute. If y'all want to read, if y'all want to ask him anything, don't. Stupid, don't <laughs> act any, anything stupid because I'm, we not gonna read it. If you ask some stupid stuff, you're just gonna be wasting your money. So, super chat right now. If you want to ask uh, stupid young something, let's see, let's read the super chat. Uh, da Vinci <laughs> said, What is your personal idea of what God is? You believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. I believe, I believe in Buddha and um, some Christianity. I'm just not involved. I would like to get more involved when I get older, but right. right there. I know I actually I am. I'm not gonna say I would like. I am gonna get involved when I get older. It's just right now I got other shit taking up my time. Cause right. you know Buddhism is just it's not even really a god or yeah, a religion. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, teaching. It's yeah. just a way of life. It's a way of life. Right. We got Trey Whaley says, uh, "What are the best most real steps to bring?" Okay. Man, As two members of the hip hop community, what are the best, most realistic steps to bring black and Asians together? I feel like we together already. That's how you feel. Uh, well, like, where I come from, yeah. Yeah, that's how <laughs> yeah. you feel. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. Because they always say, oh, that's a Cali thing. That's a Long Beach thing. Right. But um, shit, I already feel like that, so. Right. I'm just, yeah. Um, v, v it Raps Reacts, $5. Shout out to Mac and Stupid Young. Uh, OG Steve, salute to China Mac and Stupid Young from a loke from east side of the Bronx, Allerton, in the house. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, Damn, people are donating like motherfucker. Yeah. I, need, I might need to do this streaming shit. Do this, <laughs> Yo, shout out to Camo Soldiers. I, if anybody else want to uh, ask any questions, y'all can super chat. Um, Let's see. What else, man? What else do we got going on? All right, so when you you went to jail for that, mm -hmm. that commercial burger. Yeah. You, how much time did they give you for that? Three, three, three with half. Three and a half. Three with half. What's this three with half? Three with half is they give you three, but if you do good behavior, you get you could do half. Oh, so you do a year and a half. Yeah, I did a year and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. How where that was? How old was you? Mm, Twenty. Probably like 20, 20, 20, 23. And, but that was in juvie? No, no, I went to the pen. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. But you was in juvie before? I was in juvie, yeah, a gang of times. Uh, what was your, what was, because I, I, I saw that you was in juvie, that's when you started rapping? Uh, that's when I started expressing myself, like openly to, that's the first public, not public, but the first crowd I ever expressed myself to was jail. But before jail you members. was just rapping, like, yeah, just bef before I was just at home. And the only people around me know I like to rap. Like people around me. Like my family and shit like that. Or like fucking close friends. Yo. All right, so. Yeah, saw so gang. Yo, yo. <laughs> yo, so. So that was your first time. How was your first? Do you remember your, one of your first raps? Uh. My first raps, yeah, but I, I don't remember what I said, but I remember the first time I actually recorded something. It was one of those, um, it was my- In jail? Um, nah, when I was out, when I was but young. But you don't remember none of this stuff when you I was burned it. Okay, you know when you go on the computer and you can put the mic, it got it says microphone and you can plug up like a, them old ass skinny microphones into the computer? Right. Yeah, my my cousin house had that and we just, um, we'll, we'll, we'll play the beat loud as fuck, like on the speaker, and then I'll just be rapping like, with the speaker in the back, with the with the cheap mic, and you press record on the Microsoft shit, and then just burn the CD. That like was that. where in jail? Nah, that was oh, when that I was, was young. Here. Yeah, that was like middle school type. But then shit. I saw that you was rapping in jail. Yeah, and when you I, you had a program in there. Yeah, right? yeah, I was in a program in juvenile camp, and then um they had a, a class, the flow class, flow. Right. And uh the, the 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 dude used to be my old mentor. He he held that class. I I was I was there nine months on the gun charge, but I was just gonna do the nine months. But when I went in that class, um, I was the only Asian in the whole fucking juvenile camp. In the whole juvie? In the whole juvie. I thought there would be more Asians. Nah, like. it'd it be like that. You, you get lucky, you get one fucking Asian, another Asian. Right. It'd be like that. It's because there's so much juvenile halls and camps that we're all like spread out too right. sometimes. But yeah, I was the only Asian in that motherfucking... How was it like? It was, 
It was cool. Juvenile Hall is a, a whole different ball game than than you know the the pen and the county and shit like that. It's just a bunch of immature, ignorant young motherfuckers. I mean, when, you was when, the only Asian in there. I'm sure yeah. you had to get in some fights. Oh man. yeah, 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 for sure. You remember one of the fight, the first fight, one of the first fights you got in? There? Um, it was it was game related. It was it was more game related, not because I'm based on Asian, but it just being from Asian boys. Period. Got yeah. a lot of enemies in there, you know. Right. Well, other like other Hispanics. Yeah. That wasn't even from Long Beach. Oh. Mm-hmm. And what? It was a one on one. Nah, it was some shit called locking legs, where in juvenile hall, it like you if you don't want to go home, you 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 sit down and you you cross your legs with the other guy and you go like this and you shake hands and y'all sit down and y'all just start fighting. But you, what? You, Wait, you how can't do really you do that? Stand up. <laughs> you watch well, like, cross our legs right like right. this. How do we do cross <laughs> our legs like yeah. this? And then mine would go across with yours like that, uh-huh. and then we'll hold hands like this, and then we'll drop. <laughs> it would drop. Anybody from LA County that been to juvenile hall know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then y'all drop. What do y'all do all that for? Because, because if you go live, if you go live, then you only gonna fight for like two seconds. Oh. And you gonna on top of that, you are gonna get more time, and you're not gonna go home. So y'all wait. So all the real ones did that locking legs. So you do it. So you under the bunks or something? Yeah, under the you? bunks or under the cafeteria. <laughs> That's like crazy. the cafeteria uh, tray shit. Like it was so much ways to to lock legs. Like and then you just be on the thing going like... Just yeah, just face to face, face to face. That's crazy. Yeah, I remember one dude rock my shit though. Rocked his shit. Rock my shit, but he, how? How he was that? big. He, you know how 80, 80 size yeah, right now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the cold part was he, he wasn't even a game member. He was a tagger. In LA, I don't know, they, they, you know, they be trying to downplay taggers. Like they don't take taggers serious because taggers be trying to like bang too. But taggers are graffiti artists. Yeah, graffiti artists. Yeah. But then um, it, was a, it was a tagger and I walked into camp. I was 14. And he was like, I was skinny. I was skinnier and shorter. But hey, hey, that dude, his, uh, he, he knocked me so bad. I remember his name, Brian Gomez. <laughs> he yeah. said he knocked, knocked but, me but so he, bad. At that age, he was AD size. Right. That's right now. crazy, right? Yeah, like, 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 like at that time. And I was skinny. And when I walked in, he, he, he did this. When I walked in, I was the only Asian in that, in that, in that camp program. He, he went like this. And the whole dorm started laughing. So I felt offended, and I and he was he was big and light skinned and hairy. He had all type of facial hair at a young age, and I was like, man, you big ass polar bear looking motherfucker, with you, you know, just trying to clown back. And when I clowned on him, the whole dorm laughed at him. So he got he got offended when I when I did it back, and then he called me out. He said, hey, new booty, call me new booty. He said, grab. <laughs> he said, new booty. He said, grab. The, he said, grab the Windex, grab the Windex. I'm like, what? I grabbed the Windex. He's like, you're gonna go clean windows with me. He told the staff, hey, I'm going to take the new booty, go clean some windows. And the staff, they, they don't give a fuck. They're not paying attention. They're like, all right, Brian, that's good. That's good. And he took me, and then we went on the side of the dorm. He, we, we locked legs. We dropped. And then he just, and then the whole, the, the whole dorm went up to the window to go watch. Because we outside now. We do it. The first time I locked legs, we was outside, like on, on, in the middle of two dorms. We did it, and then we dropped, and he just, we just start thundering. We just start going at it. And then my lip, my teeth went through my lip. That shit was busted, and I could smell my flesh for like Damn. for like a week. But the dude, there was a dude from um uh, from Carson. He was from Stevenson Village. He called out, he called out Brian, that dude Brian, after he fought. And the, the dude was a crip, but he didn't know me. He called out Brian because he said when we when we was locking legs, uh, the dude Brian was holding my arm. I, I, when you know when you're finding your adrenaline pumping, you don't know what's going on. He was holding my arm in my sweater, and this is my first time, and he was just hitting me, boom, boom, And he boom. wasn't supposed to do that? Yeah, he wasn't supposed to do that. It wasn't a fair one, basically. Right. So then, um, that's yeah, he rocked me or whatever, I gave him that. And then um, the dude from Carson, the crib, called him out, and then this, this time we did it different. We act like we making our beds on the bunk, and then we holding the blanket right. like this, like we shaking it or some shit, and then they, they just start locking, and he beat, he beat that dude up, Brian. Damn. Yeah. So he beat, <laughs> he just did it just because? He just did it because... He basically they thought he like you know you picking on someone smaller. You right. thought he wasn't going bar- wasn't going it wasn't going to get down, but I did. And then um, that dude just didn't like bullies, basically. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I and we, we wasn't even tight after that. He did. You <laughs> we didn't even get cool with him. Yeah, we didn't even get cool. Damn. That's so that, that that's so crazy. Yeah. That, that was juvenile hall shit, you that, know. That was juvenile hall. Yeah, juvenile hall. Yo, I saw that you said uh, in 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 juvie. You met some. You met another rapper, Draco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long live Draco. You met Draco. How how old was y'all? Like what? what that was time it? I was sixteen. I was sixteen. Um, 
We went to a placement. Placement is basically every time you come home from juvenile hall, they call your parents and say, come get you. He's getting out on this day, come get you. Placement was for the people who the parents didn't want to come get them. Like, nah, let them stay in there. Ooh. And then, like, they couldn't just get your parent to come. So they send you there, kind of mm. like a foster care. Right. And, uh, yeah, that's where I met him. Daryl Caldwell, yeah. Damn, you know him by his name, boy. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, we, we, yeah, I know him, know him. You know him, know him. Yeah, know him. He was my roommate. He was your roommate? Yeah, nine months. How, how was he like? Like He was quiet. He was quiet, shy. I remember the first day he came because I was there already. I was already there. I remember, um, you know. Is that the same age? No, nah, he he like a year or two younger than he me. He's younger than you. Yeah. Okay. And it was like, it was kind of like, you know, I remember that day like it was yesterday. That placement, that group home was in El Monte, El Monte. And um, it was it held like 100 kids. And I remember every, we playing basketball. Like it was like recess or some shit. But like it was still during school times. So I walk in the office because I, I had a cut from from whatever. I was, you know, fucking around with the basketball. I went to get a band-aid. I walk in. I see this dude. He's sitting there. And, you know, juvenile hall, I mean, that placement is kind of still like, it's like juvenile hall kind of. So I asked him, I said, hey, like, where you from? He said, I don't bang. He said, I said, where you grew up? Because I grew up on, in L.A. with the woo. I'm like, all right, whatever. And then next you know, he got assigned to my room. And, and, you know, in placement, you could get regular clothes from your house if somebody bring it. Whether right. your uncle, your mom, your guardian, whoever could bring it. Right. My mom, my, my, I, I never got shit, so no one brought me shit. So I had to wear whatever they had, which was some bullshit ass like Lee dungarees, some regular like um, AAA t shirts and shit. Right. He had someone bring him his clothes, and that motherfucker was fly. He was fly. He was the flyest dude in placement, I swear mm. to God. He had like the red monkeys, the true religion, right. the, the, the fucking blazers. He had all the shits. And I'm like, damn, you, you like a fly motherfucker, you know? Like, <laughs> you cool. And we would, we would have a, we would have like, like I was chilling with the blacks in there mainly, in, in that placement. And we'll beat on the cafeteria de- or the bench outside on, on the side of the court, and everybody just take turns rapping. Uh-huh. And I was with some few bloods. They was rapping. I, I, I would be rapping, and Drake would just be sitting there quiet. I never heard him rap one line in there. He was just always quiet. He was the baby out of our group. Mm. We had a whole little group. It was a mainly blood. I was the only crib, and then uh, he was he was just the one that didn't bang, and then um, he I got in trouble because I, I was sneaking I was I was I was sneaking in weed and shit. So they extended my time, and he he came after me and he left before me, and then when he uh, I remember on my birthday in there when I turned like I turned 16 in there, and then um, he gave me an ace hat, you know, like the Oakland Athletics. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, Cause he got a home pass. He went on a home pass. He came back. He brought me a green and yellow A's hat. He wow. Like, yeah, he like he like happy happy C day. Damn. Yeah, we was locked in. I'm telling you, he wow. know that. And then um, he went home. He went home, and we never connected. Cause you know, and then I got out, still doing the street shit. And then I start when I started trying to take music seriously. I was, I, I seen a picture some some DJ some Filipino DJ. He not I don't know what happened to him, but I was re- I didn't have nowhere to record music. I couldn't afford it. So I'm recording with the DJ dude. He like, man, he, this, I got this kid. He's the new wave. He gonna be the new wave. He showed me some of the music. I'm like, man, I, that shit sound weird, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This was like 2010, 2011. I'm like, it sound kind of weird. How many years ago was that after? How many years was that after you? So, so 10 years. Damn, like a good five years. Five years. Five years. Okay. And then um, I'm like, damn, it sound kind of weird. Then he showed me the picture of a, uh, uh, the cover, the dude holding the lean cup. And I look, I'm like, what the fuck? I said, go. To, I said, let me see his Twitter. He goes to his Twitter. I look at the picture. I'm like, is this Dara? I'm like, this is Dara. Damn. He's like, he like, you know him? I'm like, yeah, bro. He like, yeah. I only record two artists. I only record him, and I only record you. I'm like, that's Dara. But he didn't blow up yet. Like, he did not blow up nowhere like near close to like a million views. And it sounded nothing. weird. It sounded weird to me. I'm like, that's Dara. What the fuck? He rap now? He's like, yeah, and then he gave me his number, and I'm talking to him now. I'm like, what's up, dude? He's like, yeah, bro, you know, it's been a while. I know I know, I didn't rap before, but I'm trying to get on my shit. And then I'm going to jail, he going to jail. Fast, long story short, fast forward, boom, Draco took off. That that DJ was right. That Filipino DJ was right. He, he was fucking right. He had right. the next wave. He had the next wave. And I'm like, damn. That nigga is right, and then now I'm trying to connect with Daryl again, but he caught that case. I'm, I'm, I'm still banging. We, it was just like, 
going back and forth on on, on the phone, but then like wasn't really doing nothing because I wasn't really taking it that serious. I was still in the streets, have one foot in, one foot out, and then um. When the time was right, this time I, I got settled in. I was established. Mando already passed twenty million. He was doing his shit. He came home. That's when we linked, linked for that for that little boosie. What you you hit him up? I hit him up. I'm like, but he he reposted because uh, Adam asked me about him on No Jumper, my last oh, he interview. Did, yeah. yeah, and then um, Draco posted. He's like, my nigga Alex. He's like, I remember them days. Damn. Yeah, yeah, and then. And then I hit him on the DM. I said, because he reposted, but he was in jail. So I'm like, who's this? Who's speaking for him? He's like, oh, his, I don't know who it was. His girl, his brother or some shit. And I was like, tell that, tell that dude I need a feature when he come home. He said, mm. yeah, you good for it. And I was, I think I, I could have been his first feature when he came home. Wow. Yeah. History. That was history wow, right there. Wow, that's history right history. there. You ever said this before? I said this. Said I said this. this, but I never broke it down like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 How, how'd you feel when you saw that he passed away? I was just, I was fucked up. I was, I was already like on a level. I was like faded and all type of shit. I hit his, I hit his brother and, and his homie and shit. And they're like, they're like, oh, everyone hitting us right now. We're gonna hit you when, when the time is right. And I'm like, all right, all right, I understand that. That's respectable, you know, because it just happened type shit. Right. And you know, they 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 got their little own in house shit. Cause I wouldn't want nobody blowing my phone. Like, what happened? What happened? Right, right, you right, know? right, right. But yeah, that shit fucked up. Damn. For sure. Damn. Legend, L.A. legend he, in my eyes. You think that? Uh, how big you think he would have got? Like you know, big. He would have been the big, the biggest shit in L.A. right now. I, you know what? And I said this earlier. I said that Draco was like New York's Pop Smoke. Oh, oh I, I never thought of that analogy. Now that you say it, that shit makes sense. Right. Because because some people don't didn't like. It, it was kind of I know what you're saying. Like they were big in their in their city. But then, like, but they surpassed the yeah, city too. Exactly, they surpassed it too. But at the same time, underrated type shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. honestly, I I had like not an incident, but there was a time with Pop Smoke where I didn't know who he was until he died. Mm. And then when I heard all his music, I'm like, this motherfucker talented. Right. You know, C hit me when we was in uh, Boston, right, and said, uh, "This guy Pop Smoke, he'll do something with you. You go to the studio, but you got to pull up on him." And I was like, I don't know who that is, like. And I and that that's one of my biggest regrets. You know, I, I met Pop Smoke when he was like 15 years old. Yeah. Uh he came he, um the producer for Mac Talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh 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 he brought him to my studio right, with G's right. Gasoline and everybody. Okay. And he was 15 years old. He wasn't even rapping at that time. He right, was right. quiet. He didn't really say nothing to nobody. Right, he was right. just there chilling, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to uh D Rock. Shout out to D Rod. He brought he brought Pop Smoke to the studio. Right, right, right. And and I'm I saw Pop Smoke like four days before he came out here. Right, right. And that happened. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So yeah, man. Rest in peace to to Draco Some and legends. Pop Smoke. Young man. legends, Some man. Legends, man. They, that, they, 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 they had more they had yeah, they, they, they had wasn't more supposed to, do. to go, man. They had they more was, to do. Yeah, they had a lot more to do. You know what I'm sure. saying? Now that you say that, that's a good analogy right there. Super good analogy. Right. Because if you look at Pop, he when he died, he had the features, right? Before, and then Drake, Draco had the features. You know what I'm saying? That's a good analogy right there. Right. So when you went in prison, you went in prison after the the thing. How was that? Like, where'd you go? I went to um, went to level one, level two, Jamestown. I went to Delano Recession. Then I went over there, um, to 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 um Jamestown. That's a fire camp. Oh, you went to a fire It's still camp. a prison, though. It's still a prison. Motherfuckers will try to downplay it like, oh, he went on level one, level two. Like, okay, I'm cool. That's I'm cool. I'm happy. I ain't go to no yeah, four or three. Yeah, I mean, that's shit. Yeah, niggas be but trying to But what's a fire camp, though? Fire camp Explain is, that to me. What's the daily it's, it's, thing? It's when the prisoners go fight fires. What? Yeah, they have that in California. That's big. That's been going on for years. So y'all go out there and fight fires? Fight fires and get paid for it. Explain a day of firefighting for you, man. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That's the part. I didn't want to fight fires, so I did everything I did in my power to stay back at the dorm in the prison. What? Oh, so you didn't have to because fight I was fire. short time, and I'm right. like, I'm like, firefighting is only worth it if um, if you go if you got a stretch, couple years, and you want to get paid, yeah. But if you got a year, some change, like you don't want to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to do that shit. Right. I didn't want to do it. I just so you never did it. Nah, I just stay back in the prison. Before you make it to the uh, fire, fire fighting shit, you gotta um, 
Pass this P. Pass it's called tests. PFT, fitness test. Right, and you just didn't pass it. I just didn't pass it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, for sure, because I wasn't fat at that time either. Oh man, uh, um, in 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 prison, like in prison, when you were in prison in there, like, um, did you like did the other Crips respect like the the Asian Crips? Um, what you mean? Like, did they do y'all run with them or like how? Nah, how we that uh, others we run. We run um, just us by ourselves, Asians in the pen. Okay. That's why I get kind of tricky. But it, nowadays, it's like the 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 you know the black crypt, They know how it go. They know right. how it go. Like we gotta stick with our race. But they like they respect it. Like I feel like the Asian gangs out here in Southern California, I say, set that um, set that set that set that bar. Right. Like they know who we are. They respect it. They know what we about. So for right. sure. Uh um. You used to battle rap. Yeah. You know, that's the first thing I saw of you, right? <laughs> yeah, that's when I was young. I saw the, that's the everything. first thing I saw. I was like, you was battle rapping. And um, I was like, okay, uh, uh, how did that how did that start? How did you start battle rapping? And like Man, the homie set me up, he signed me up. Who signed you up? The homie. Well, the, uh, One of the homies signed the you homie up. Signed me now, up. How, how, how they signed you up? He just he just put my name on the Facebook shit, and then he's like, you ready? I'm like, because he already knew I like to rap. I'm like, what you mean, you ready? That's why I freestyle most of that shit. Right. That was like some mediocre shit, but I, I, I had fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? I had fun Wait, doing it. Wait, it was just one time? I did three. I'm, I was you three, did three? I was three and oh. Yeah. You was three and oh. Three and oh. <laughs> and you was freestyling the whole thing? I freestyled. When I well the first one I freestyle and the second one I half freestyle because they was like, yo, you the only one here freestyling, you can't do that. Like everyone's writing their shit. Oh, you gotta come with written. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Then the second one I, I didn't remember half of that shit, but I freestyle half and spit. And then the third one was just all written type shit. Right. Yeah. So, how, how like what was that experience like? How did you feel like going into the battle? Like how was that like? Which me going? Like, how, like yeah. Oh, when, it was cool. That, I, I feel like that. Um, you was made, on your Eminem shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I feel like that shit molded me too. Like I just did it really for fun. You feel me? Like I didn't get nothing out of it. I didn't get no money or nothing. I just wanted to do it just to do it. Like right. And and I, it felt good because like when I do when I was doing that, I was at, at a young age. I was zoning out. Like zoning out. Like it, it kind of it feel like performing. You feel me? Like right. when you just zone out and. You don't see nothing else around you. It's just blurry. It's just you. That's it. You and yourself, zoning out, and I, and then that's that's. Uh, it was it was like a thrill for me, basically. Right, and you and you beat all of them. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Um, um, I saw an interview where you was like that. Uh, you said you basically bigged up. You said something about you know Asian rappers, and then you also like you you kind of big up yet. Yeah. Enemies that rap to you is like my enemies rap to you know what I'm saying ah uh, ah, uh, but you ain't really shit on them type. You you was just like you know yeah. You oh, was, that's an old interview, yeah, right? The old yeah, one. yeah, it was yeah. An old one. Yeah. Um, like, could you ever make music with somebody with 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 with, with like a you know somebody you consider an enemy? Nah, nah. Yeah, because nah, I just can't do it. I, I got asked this question before too, but nah. It's just, too, it's just too deep. Just too deep. Yeah. Right. Just too deep. I love my my where I'm at. I love my side just too much. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I ain't gonna. I wouldn't knock them or blackball them or do no. You wouldn't do shit. that. Nah, hell no. Nah. I let them. I let them get their fair chance. I believe mm -hmm. in like fairness. You feel me? Right. I believe in you know fair fair competition and I. So yeah. if you see them doing, cause I think I saw some stuff where like yeah, people yeah. say that. I don't know. People fake claim like you you be trying to blackball them or something. <laughs> That's on my kids. I never try to blackball you never, anybody. You, you wouldn't do that. If I black, if I, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I was to blackball somebody, I could have took bounce back meek shit off of off of YouTube. What? I don't really want to get into that. Like, I don't want to get I, into that. The that's whole, who I could have black ball, black right, ball I, because I own the beat. Right. Why? why wait. What's so, so if I if I was a black ball, I would have did that. Right. I, I never blackball anybody. How'd you in my own life. the beat? Wait, that was your beat. I bought. I got the beat. One hundred percent. It's a stupid young type beat. <laughs> <laughs> it's my beat. You did some. Uh, you did some fifty cent shit with that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God. Nah, but I. I, I, I it's. It's. it's Okay, when it comes to the streets and the music, it's two different things to me. Right. There's two different things. If we in the streets and we doing shit, I'm, I'm not going to let you try to win. No way. I'll blackball you on the streets. But when it comes to music, 
I'm not I'm not worried. That's why. I'm not worried. I I, I wouldn't blackball nobody like at all. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'll be getting blackballed. <laughs> you feel like you'll be getting yeah, blackballed? Yeah, for sure. But Yo, it might not be by my enemies. It might be like other people or something. Yeah. Type. So let, let's talk about that. The mm-hmm. N-word. Right, right. Do you think you get blackballed because of your use of that? Um. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think so. Yeah, it I holds think you some, back, right? It holds me back for sure. It definitely holds me back. People tell me to, people tell me to um, stop, but I just, I just can't. I'm already deep. Right. I'm already deep. I'm already deep with it. What? Why can't you stop though? Um, it's just how I am. How I it's grew up. Talk. I talk like this every fucking day. You know, I, every I mean, second. you never really heard me, but I huh? used to talk like that too yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, like yeah. every sentence, I would say that. Oh, is that before you went to the joint or after? No, I was saying it in the joint every day. Yeah, like yeah. every sentence was that, was that. Yeah, yeah. Around nothing but black people. I say it all day. Bah, right, bah, right. bah, bah. That's all I'm saying. Right, right. You know what I mean? But I and I said this yesterday with T Rev. It was a, a Muslim. Only one person had an issue with me saying that. Well, and it was a Muslim, Muslim huh? dude. Yeah. And he was like an older dude. And yeah. he was like, yo, um, with all due respect, like. Don't say that word around me. You know what I'm saying? And at first, I was like, what? Like, fuck yeah. you mean? Like, you know what I mean? I've been saying it. I'm not just... But then, like, I, I went, I was talking to my homie. My homie was like, you know, I mean, it's not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. if he don't want you saying it, you know, you should respect it. And I was like, I thought about it, and I was like, you right. So I went up to him. I was like, you right, bro. I, I ain't going to say it around you. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And he was like, all right, no doubt. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know brother? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 and then he was just talking to me. Like, he had put me on the game, too. Like, you know, he's not like... And he was explaining to me. But I already knew where that word... Like, you know, I already right, knew. Right. But he explained to me what the word meant and how what it meant to him. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So I was like, all right. Then, but I was still saying it. I just wasn't saying it around him. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But then when I came home, I was still saying it. But then I started seeing, like, on the internet, I started seeing a little bit. Like, I started... Before I even came out making music or anything... I started seeing like how people was reacting to it. And I was like, in person, if somebody came up to me, a black person respectfully was like, yo, I don't want you to say that word. It, may, right. it offends me. Right, right. I wouldn't say that word. I wouldn't right, call right. him that. I would try my best not to say it. You know what I'm saying? Right, because right. not because I'm scared of nothing, but out of respect. Out you of know respect, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I was like, damn. If I'm on the internet and I'm making music and I'm doing all that, there's probably going to be hundreds of thousands of people that might take offense to that. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. But they're not person. They're not there to tell me. But is but you know what I'm saying? So right, I was right. like, you know what? I'm just not going to say it. Right, right. So I, little by little, I just started working on not yeah. saying it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I took in considerate to to like. Um to calm down on it in my music, you feel me? Like if you listen to my last shit, I probably said it like once or something. Like, and but I, used, if you look at my old shit, I just back to back, back to back, you know. And I. And but at least you taking a. At yeah, least you I do, taking a. I do try to take it into consideration. Cause but, there's a lot of key holders, bro. That that right, that, right. that that. That will block you because of what you're saying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. you won't even know. You won't they even had know. Like Ebro, 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 yeah. You know what uh, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like Ebro, and 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 and, and um. You know, like, 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 people. I think that definitely held you back. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But it's like, it's the real me. You feel me? I know. And it's like, it's like I can't, I can't. Even if I wanted to stop saying, I, I don't think I can. <laughs> you can. No, nah, I don't think I can. You don't think everyone so? around me says it. Right. My fucking family says it. Right. Like my homies say, like it's just. But what do you think it, about? What do you say to people that 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 never been around Asian people like yourself? That's been. <laughs> Like raised like you, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, what do you say to them? I that- tell them that's how I grew up. That's how I mean a lot of people probably say that's how I grew up, but that's how we really like how we really are and that's how and what it really is. Is like if you fucking like when they threw Tarzan in the jungle, he's he knew how to speak to the animals. It was. I mean, that's. I don't know. If that's a good. Analogy, yeah, that's but. not a good. Analogy. <laughs> that is not a good. No, analogy, but, but it's like where it's your, it's your you're environment. Saying, yeah. You feel me? Like whatever your environment is, that's just that's just that's just how it is. Look at all these fucking Asian rappers. They. I'm not saying it's cool, but they. Whoever, like you know, which ones grew up in the projects in the hood and shit, and they and just listen to their music. It's like, 
I just tell them when we, when we say it, we don't say it in a, in a, to offend. You you feel me? Right. And we don't say it to offend. And That's not you how you learned the word. Yeah, it, we don't say it with an R. And you if you, did, yeah, and if you, you say didn't learn we the should, word from white people or exactly. anybody else, and, racist people. And if you and if you saying we should stop saying it, then how about everyone stop saying it? Like, right? You know, I mean, if it's offensive, it can't be half ass and like nah. Your race can't be saying it offensive. Only my race could offend each other. Like that don't make no sense. You feel me? True. Like I mean, me? but I just feel like in order for it, like you know, just 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 respect. Right, number right. one. First no, if respect. someone was to tell me, and it was a black person, it's like I don't, I don't say that word. I would just explain my say my not try to justify, but say my side, and then that's it. And then like I wouldn't say it around them. You, know you would try your best not to yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Out of respect, like you said. Right, right. Let's read some super chats, man. Let's read some super chats before. Uh, uh, we got. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got. Soup. Uh, Taba Mock said, "Will either of you consider moving to another country? And if yes, where? Stupid, handsome, hilarious rap battles. Y'all should bring that back. Make a show." <laughs> Would you, would you, you, you been out the country? Yeah. Well, um, where? I've only been to Mexico, though. Mexico. Yeah. You never, you haven't been to Cambodia? Hell no. You haven't been to Vietnam? No. Nope. I think it's time for us to go, bro. For sure. I think it's time I'm for ready. us to go. Go I'm to ready. China? Mm-hmm. I think you should come to China with me. We're going to shut it down. For sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, um... No cedar, bitch. Great job of speaking up, Mac. You a real one. Shout out to you. Uh, in tune. At, can I read? What is this? Do you know something about this? Mm. Is that something I should read? Uh, I don't really know that. Like that. Nah? Nah. I, don't, I mean, I don't remember. All right. Um, as bro, but it's nothing, it's nothing that's crazy, right? Yeah. Shout like, out TK to Barber, yeah, whoever. Yeah, TK to Barber. He might have come me before. Okay. Uh, Righteous Nomad. Oh, this is this is Johnny Chang. This is uh the brother that I had up here from Wa Ching. Right. Love to the A homies and respect the young. This is Johnny Chang from Oceanside Wa Ching. I'll see y'all later, Mac. Hit me after gang. Um UWU OWO has super chatted. We're listening to Treacherous. How could could you please share your idea behind the song? It's an awesome song. Uh, my idea, the beat kind of like brought that out of me. I ain't gonna lie, the beat and then um, just the vibe I was feeling that day, you know. That's why it's mixed emotions. I was, you know, that song was just talking about like, you know, like more like elevation and shit. Like if you hear me talking on there, talking about like my gold plaque and all this and that. It was just it was, that song was just how I was feeling at the moment, like right. where we come from, but what it transpired to. Why well, mixed emotions? Because when I was making that project, it was like a lot of shit going on, like a lot of shit, like that 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 made me just feel happy and sad and angry. You know what I'm saying? Just all different type of emotions. Every emotion I felt on that motherfucker. That's why it's all different type of vibes and right. shit. Um, shout out Stupid Young from Usos from the East Side San Jose S A Gang. Sa Gang, yeah, S E A. S Sa Gang. Rob Gotti, 415. Free Rado. Um, King Jaffe Joe. Um, do y'all, I don't know. Do you want me to read this or no? Yeah, you can. You do y'all link up or beef with the Cambodian Bloods? Um, where's he speaking? Of? Like, what area is he speaking of? I don't know. Period, I guess. Um, we'll, we don't really go get into it with the Cambodian Bloods like that. It ain't like, you know, I can't speak for different cities, but Long Beach is, you know, that, that's not our, we don't focus on that. Okay. Eric Hendricks Art said, where can I buy that hoodie? This hoodie, um, official. That's fire, a fi- though, I, uh, lie. I should have brought you one. You should have brought me one. <laughs> no, man. you know, hey, I swear to God, Bring when I was at my, no, when I was at my house putting this on, I was like, damn, what size is he? Because I only got certain sizes at my house. It, the rest is at a warehouse. Large? Or oh, extra large, either one. Damn, I had extra large. Oh, I'll take the extra large. Yeah, yeah. All right. But I got you. But um, yeah, you go to officials the label. That's that's the that's the Instagram right there. All right, all right. Uh, do we have anything else? All right, yo, listen. Um, Mozzie, how did that song come about? Um, cause that's like the song that like that elevated you. Yeah, that's that the, took that's you to the, the next that was the breakout right there. Yeah. Um, 
fucking my, my one of my boys know knew knew his manager and uh he asked me if I wanted to do a song with Mozzie and I was just like I was just like um I wasn't really like on it like that, you know? And then um we we went up to San Jose. He was already familiar with my neighborhood because we got chapters up there too. And he's like the Asian boys. He's like hell yeah, let's, let's let's do some. And then it just it just happened. So you you wasn't really what you mean? You wasn't really feeling it like you wasn't. Really I wasn't on it like I wasn't on it. Like, that excited because Mozzie was come barely coming up at the time too. Mm. And so I'm just like yeah, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. I didn't think it was gonna take off. How it took you off. didn't think so? No, nah, I didn't think so. Right. And then so when y'all so you went up there to do it? Um. Yep. I went up to the bay and did it. I didn't go to Sac, I went to the Bay. You went up to the Bay. Mm -hmm. And he came to the studio? Yep. So what was the vibe when he first came in? That like, shit just was naturally natural. It was just naturally natural. It, just, it was it was just a, it was, we just clicked instantly. You know what I'm talking about? Just like the vibe, like his homies, my homies, it was just, it was, everything was good. Mm. And then and then who made the beat? Um, Papa, the homie Papa, he from out here in LA. Mm. Yep. So when y'all heard the beat, who, who who picked the beat? Me. I picked the beat. I wrote the hook, wrote the verse, and then Mozzie laid his verse. He was there when you when you made the hook and the verse, yeah. or yeah, you? he was there. Yeah. Uh huh. And I, I was I was rapping it to him before I went in the booth. He's like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And then that, that's how I went. Mm. I still remember that day too, like yesterday. <laughs> it, how did you like when you came out the booth? And then I, um, I felt like it was good, but I thought it was mid. I'm like, damn. I'm you like, thought it was mid? I thought it was mid. I'm like, I wasn't, I was, I was just excited just to like, because it was like kind of the big first artist I ever fucked with. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was just like, damn. I'm like, I, I hope, I hope it's a banger. But I kept listening. Uh, the homies, we were, we were like four deep in a car on the way back. We were a couple cars. C was there. We were a couple cars deep, and we we coming back down south, and like it's four of us, and we, you know, we making pit stop. It's a six hour ride. We making pit stop. And every pistol, I'm telling the homie, damn, you think this shit hard? Like, bro, that's, they're all telling me in the car it's hard. But I'm like, we're going to see when we, I said, we're going to see when we're doing the um, video, how, you know, how uh, how viral it goes. When did you know it was like? When, like, when that was crazy? Yeah. After it hit um, 10 million views. That's when you knew it was crazy? Yeah. So when y'all did the video, when you me. did the video, uh, how did it hey, walk me through the video? Like, how did you do the video? How was I that? Like, all the homies, you know, from the hood, had all the homies from the hood. Um, everybody was there. We was all ready. Mozzie, was like, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. He came. We shot that motherfucker naturally too. That was natural, and it was just, it just, it just took off. I got a Snapchat video on my phone, where. All right, when we shot that video, the person driving the car with me and the passenger and Mozzie in the back was um, Pop Off. You feel me? Rest in peace. Rest in peace. And that and that and that's the block where he lived at. Mm. That's the block where he died at. Mm. Where we did the Mando video. Mm. And then um, that's the block where Dirt died at, like mm. five steps away. Damn. So it was a lot of history on that on that block. And um, basically, it was. I have a video on Snapchat. I still I still I still be looking at it here and there. I'm getting a haircut. We got the barber out for a house call. We in the backyard though of that house, the same house where Mozzie was perform rapping at. And then um, it was the day be night before, and I'm like, all right, I'm like, let's go, baby. I'm getting a haircut, and the homie in the back, I'm like, let's. I'm talking to Papa. I'm like, let's go, baby. A million views. Here come a million views. Like my first million views. You feel me? Right. And it just it just took off. So like when you dropped it, how long after did you drop it? I held on to that motherfucker for like a month or two. You did? Yeah. So when you saw the video, what did you say to yourself? When I seen the video, edited it, because I worked with that cameraman before, and we did like, I did one video with him before, and it, it was pretty cool, too. I was like, all right, this shit. It was like my first video when I got out. Right. I'm like, ooh, this shit's too cool. And then, but when I told him, I don't need, for this video, I don't need, I can't do cool. I need, I need great like I needed to be great we, like I'm stepping another level you got to step it up another level mm. and and he, he did he delivered he delivered yeah that motherfucker answered because them drone shots I wasn't there for them drone shots right. he was on that block by himself right <laughs> yeah. yo so so all right so now the video is done yeah. you hold it for a month why you hold it for a month I would just hold I don't know I was just holding up because I was going through life motions too right. at the same time. I wasn't really, I was like I said, I wasn't excited. You feel me? Like as 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 as, as 
because I didn't know what the future hold. I thought I'm going to drop it a million views and I'm gotta, I am got to go, go back to regular program. But my whole life changed after that shit dropped. So it was so, like... So, okay, you drop it? Yeah. Wh where you drop it on? My channel. You, you drop it on your channel. Yeah, yeah. So then, like, the first day, how many views? Do you remember? Probably uh, 500K. 500K in one day it was crazy. <laughs> how, but how many did you get before that? Uh, like, the video before that, what was the... Um, 100K. 100K in one day. No, no, 100K in like a Total, month. Total, a month. Yeah, a month. So the first day you drop it, 500K. Yeah. What'd you say to yourself? I was like, what the fuck? I was, just I was just tripping out. I was just like, damn, is this real? But then I'm like, it's going to stop at... At, a, at at two you million. You put a cap on yourself. I was just. I, I'm just. I, I I was just. You just trying. You to, just don't know what the right, future right, holds. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah. you trying to. So you ain't want to get too gas. Like yeah, you trying to hope for the best, but expect the worst. Right, you feel me? Right. And that's that's what I was doing. I'm like, and then when it was at five million, I'm like, all right, it might stop at ten. And then at ten, after it passed ten, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker viral. <laughs> I'm like, this motherfucker. This this. So when this it hit, hit five, you didn't nah, say it was. We did a celebration when it was ten million. I didn't even do a celebration. Some dude at a smoke shop in Orange County, like, bro, we celebrating 10 million views. Man, though, we, we barbecuing out here. I'm going to give you free weed, free smoke, and free vapes and all that. Just come through with your homies. Right. I came through late as fuck, and I said, see a big-ass sign, 10 million views. Maybe that's when it hit me. Mm. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? I'm like, this shit real. Yeah. How, so how, how do you feel like... How do you feel like... Uh, like... You definitely opened doors for a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? You you put us you put us on the map. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there was other Asian people that got mad views, like, you know, the uh the 88 Rising people, oh, right. Rich Brian, all of them, right, whatever, right. whatever. Right. But you the first like street person to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you represent a whole bunch of people that were never represented before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how did that feel? Like, what, what did it feel like? That did you feel the pressure? What, what, what was that like? Um. Yeah, I felt the pressure like a motherfucker. I didn't feel like I, 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 I did that. You feel me? But then, like before, like, cause I was soaking it all in. You, you, you feel me? But when I started doing all these other features with these big dudes and doing other shit. And I start seeing interviews of people saying it, cause I, 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 me, in my opinion, I'm humble. Like I don't, I don't go around boasting, bragging, and saying I, 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 I yeah, I put muff, I put you on. Like I'm not, that's not my character. You feel me? Right. But when I start seeing people saying it, like even other Asian artists, like yeah, Snoop Young, he, 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 you know, he, put, he made, the, he put the eyes on us, and I just start realizing it, kind of, and and even seeing them, they, they be telling me to this day, like bro, you gotta. Stop undervaluing yourself. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, you know, I think I do that too, though. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying like, you gotta, you gotta really see, you gotta, you gotta see it before, and you didn't even see it. Yeah. So imagine when you see it before right, right. other people see it, it's gonna be even bigger. But yeah. you definitely got something, bro. Like you, you definitely like Appreciate you go in the booth and you just like do your thing, bro. And you speak to a whole bunch of people, and I think like because of what you was going through. You know, in your personal issues, it held you back along with the other things that right, we right. already talked about. For but sure. I feel like uh I feel like uh uh this new wave, I'm 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 very uh um I, I wanna see where you take it, man. Right, like, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you could really it's really up to you where you take it right, and right. where you don't take it. You know what For I'm saying? Sure, so yeah. you know, I think everybody put a uh everybody put a everybody put a uh uh a dollar sign in the chat for stupid young, bro. Let's go. I want to see. Go. Yo, you got 15. It was 1,500 people in there for you. It went from 100, 500, <laughs> 1,500. Sure. Let me see a dollar sign for stupid young right now if y'all fucking with this interview, man. If y'all messing with this interview, let me see a dollar sign. Let me see a dollar sign in the chat. You feel me? Let me see a dollar sign in the chat for stupid young. But yeah, bro, man. Uh, well, at exotic, oh, look at all these dollar signs. Yo, this shit better go crazy with the dollar signs. Like, it better not <laughs> stop. Like, it better just be a sea of dollar signs. Young go. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all uh -huh. that's fucking with me. Uh huh. For sure. Do let me, I, we need to see seed. Like, just keep on putting the dollar <laughs> signs. Because my boy really put on yeah. for us, man. And and I don't care what gang you from, what part of whatever you from, whatever, where, 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 whatever. But. 
the brother put on for us. And he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he needs that respect. He needs that, he needs that, those flowers. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I definitely want to give you your flowers. You know what I'm saying? My man, appreciate you, Yo, man. but appreciate you, I want to bring up one more thing. Remember yeah. when we had our little thing? <laughs> <laughs> I already talked about that. <laughs> You remember when we had our thing? Yeah, what, yeah. what did that start from? I don't even remember. Man. I just came out from jail. <laughs> hey, yo, this guy right here, I just came out from jail. Hey, I, man, me and Mac never had no real problem, Nah, man. it wasn't no problem. It was, it was like a, uh, it was like somebody, wait. It was, it was like Kanye West and 50 Cent type shit. Somebody commented <laughs> something. Or I yeah. commented something, right? Yeah, yeah. I commented something, and you went under the comment, and you said something. Yeah, yeah. I, think I, I forgot was like, what it was, though. I think I was like, I'm the best Asian yeah, rapper, yeah. some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. And then you went under my shit, and you was like, <laughs> you 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 put a laughing emoji or yeah. something like that. Yeah, like something like you, you was being slick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, friendly competition, man. Yo, you was being slick, and then I'm like, oh, shit. Like, he want... He want to smoke. I'm like, All right, you know what? I went right to the studio. Yeah. <laughs> you did. I, you didn't even let me get get in the studio. I didn't even let you get in the studio. For sure. What you say when you heard that? What I'm you like, say? man, this motherfucker body is right here. <laughs> All I did was rap in the car. <laughs> Yo, but 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 that was crazy. Like 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 when you saw that, but like you remember what you you remember like the first time when you saw it. Yeah, yeah. I remember where I was living. I remember what I was doing. Yeah. Did you think that I was gonna come out with a song? No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, damn, I gotta hit. I gotta. I gotta go in the studio. But then I seen other people taking it out of context. That's why I'm like, yeah, we gotta dead that shit. Right. Yeah. People was taking. People always out. try to blow shit up. You know, that's how a lot of shit start too. Right. But instigators, internet people. But you seen that though, and you was like, yeah, nah, I'm we like, man, like, yeah, nah, I'm we like, not doing nah, that for yeah. sure. Right. Like two real motherfuckers can't. Nah, nah I appreciate you, man. And, and dead ass, like, I remember you came you came to my studio. Remember my studio? Yeah, yeah. In, in, yeah, yeah. in Jamaica and shit? Yep, yep. Yeah, it was yeah. hot as hell in yeah, there, right? Yeah. It was hot as it, 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 I got real New York vibes. It was, <laughs> real New York vibes it was like some shit for sure. That's where um That's how New York is though, huh? Like that. Yeah, that's yeah. where Jam Master J, you know oh, Jam Master? Yeah, that's where yeah. he died. Damn. That was his, Oh, that's where he performed. That's where the old studio. Oh, okay. Remember yeah, 50 yeah. Cent? No, Jam didn't Master he die at a show or something? No, Jam Master J died in that studio. In that oh, room, shit. he was in that, like, that's Damn. where he died. Damn, you didn't tell me that. that, that I didn't tell you that. Yeah. No. Damn. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, that 50, Jam Master J is part of Run DMC. Run DMC, yeah. Jam Master J was the one that found 50 Cent. Yeah. Oh, 50 okay. Cent was in yeah. that studio. He made, like, music in that studio, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Damn, legendary. And that was the studio... That uh, he died at, and I when I came home, I bought the I like I yeah. I, I went in, I I became For a partner sure. in that studio. You know what I mean? But I right, y'all man, I think uh, I think we did I think we did a good job today, man. For what sure. you think? What you think? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I think I felt, this is an interview. I like, think this was this was a good one for sure. A good one. I had, I had to, to I had to do a good one with you. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't just do like regular, for regular sure, with for you. Sure, for and I sure. seen all your interviews. I'm yeah. like, nah, they ain't really yeah, like they ain't hitting, they ain't, there wasn't hitting like hit that. They ain't hit like that. So when you come yeah. on Mac Talk, man, I had to get I had to <laughs> hey, my you know dog. What I'm for my sure. Dog. For sure. Hey yo, everybody, what's the name of the album, bro? Mixed Emotions. Mixed Emotions. We, Treacherous we, out right now. Treacherous out right now. So there's there's fifteen hundred people in there. We need about we need an extra 3,000 views on his video right now. Everybody go listen to his music on Spotify. Or he got a new album on Spotify, iTunes. Go listen to his album. You know what I'm saying? Go uh, watch the video, Treacherous. Run it up. Let's show him that love. You know what I mean? From, from Mac Talk. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go get the uh, popcorns too. The, what's that? Popcorns. This is a new company I collab with. Let me see. Damn, let me I don't see, even let me got see. this motherfucker on me, bro. Damn, yeah, how you promote the company? The you ain't even got it, man. <laughs> this guy right here. Popcorns. The first, <laughs> Popcorns. The, the first, the first flavored joint wraps. Fuck all that backward and uh, loose leaves and shit. That, that shit unhealthy for you. You like joints? We got flavored joints. Banana cream, all that shit. Make sure you get popcorns. Popcorns. <laughs> All right, my brother. So there we have it, yo. Listen, man. Mac Talk, not for back talk. Another one for the books. I got my brother, Stupid Young. Legendary. Everybody go, uh, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already to this channel. I got fire for y'all. It's just going to keep on getting fire and fire and fire. They done fucked up and let a real one in the game. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We about to turn this up. And with that being said, everybody have a good night. And I'll see y'all later. Kra.